We are out and about. Yeah, we're heading back down Walking Street and I can smell the durian wafting across the road. I still haven't been tempted, although I have found a couple of people who said it is good. I'm not sure I believe them though. They're in the minority, but we're out trying to find a pharmacy. Um, I want to try and get hold of some antibiotics or antibiotic drops. Um, apparently they're easy to come by here according to NAV. Um, and I want them just in case this gets bad, and maybe stave off an infection that feels like it's coming. Um, yeah. So yeah, let's do it. Let's find this pharmacy. And because we're here, we might as well take advantage of that because I'm sure in the Cam Cameron High Highlands, it'll be hard to come by. So wish us luck. surprising they would when you just turn up and ask for them uh, if it doesn't work in a couple of days she doesn't need to see a doctor so there we go let's hope it works these guys again. How much was that? So that was 18 ringgit, so what's that? Three pounds. Um, good size. Pistachio, creamy pistachio pastry and uh, honey. Can't go wrong with that combination. And I'm going to call you the Hulk. What's that? So even though in Malaysia they take cod in quite a lot of places, and even that street vendor that we just, uh, well, not street Vendor, but yeah, eat a card. Um, we still need cash because we're going to three more places in Malaysia for another week, so we do need cash. Okay. So, over my left shoulder, there you could see they have an in house security guard guarding the cash machines, and uh, pretty much everywhere you go, shopping mall, they uh, hotels, they have lots and lots of security. Um, and I kind of like it, and it's strange for me to say that because I'm someone who'll be banging on about the uh, the police state and uh, how we're all surveilled and this, that, and the other. But it does make you feel safe and secure. Um, I guess they're just always watching us, and they always know what we're up to. So right now, I can't see the towers. However, you can see where the glow is, and in which direction you need to be walking in. There they are. I don't even know if that's close. <laughs> it looks close, but it could also be very far. And talking about cash, it's really, really funny because just as we left the UK, maybe a few weeks before, I had to do a cash transaction and I hadn't used cash probably after lockdown 
for a long, long time. You're just not used to it. Everything, you know, you go to places and they say card only. Um, and I remember looking at the coins thinking, okay, that's what a 20p looked like again. That's a 50p and I had to remind myself. So yeah, and like since we've been here, it's been cash, cash all the way. <laughs> a fitting conversation as we walk through what looks like the banking district. They're all here. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm someone who who recognises the uh, the dangers of a cashless society in terms of control. Um, but having been travelling and seeing how much easier it is to use a, a travel card, um, get the conversion done at a good exchange rate then and there, and just not have to worry with just going and finding cash and doing um, exchanges. Um, I think it is the future, to be honest, whether you like it or not. I know. Buy cash. So we are in the base of the Petronas Towers. We're in another mall. <laughs> we are in another mall. However, there is a point where you can take pictures and you can see both twin towers. I need to remember where that was. Um, last time I was here, Lawrence took me there and we did loads of selfies. So um, I'm sure Tim wants to get out of this mall as soon as possible. This is why I love Google Maps or anything online apps. You just type in photo point Petronas Towers and it tells you where it is and we were right next to it so we're just heading back out now and I'm sure if I spin around you should be able to see both Yes, towers. It starts to rain. There we go. So I'm going to have to do this quickly. The heavens have just opened and everyone's making a dash for the shopping centre. So the Petronas Twin Towers, the largest uh, super tall building until 2004, 488 stories high and 452 meters tall. So there we go, there's my facts and figures, but actually I don't care about any of that. It's not the tallest building in Kuala Lumpur. It's, well, it's not dwarfed, but it's, uh, it's uh, second to uh, the Medeca Tower. Oh, there, there's oh, there special rain. <laughs> but it is amazingly lit. They've done a, an incredible job. It's an amazing design. So it's, uh, I don't want to say easy to light, but you've managed to get this ripple effect all the way up. It's, it's incredibly de delicately done. Um, and it powers lightning, out lightning. around it and it just uh, it's illuminated on the skyline it's uh, it's a familiar friend right across <laughs> right across the Kuala Lumpur wherever you look from sooner or later you'll catch a glimpse and for me it is the best in Kuala Lumpur it puts uh, the Medeca Tower the dark obelisk as I've named it to shame there we go how was that let's get out of the rain yeah. Obviously, with such a stunning building, there's those entrepreneurs trying to find that business opportunity. And they do take stunning pictures and they offer their services and check it out, look. Look at their amazing lights. Hello, 
Yes, hello there too. Hello, sir. How are you, you doing? doing? Are you good? Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. You like it? No, I meant this is good timing. Oh yeah, perfect. We were thinking, we were like, could we just go somewhere here? But it's all right, we ran there anyway. Because you're staying there, right? Yeah. There's actually a spot here. What? The Jisha place. Uh, you want to go there? Yeah, I went to go out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what I was saying, in the Ritz. Right so if we go straight there, it would be the Ritz and easier. Oh, you have to go to the, this one. Huh? Yeah, Tell easier for you, there's no traffic. No terrorists there. All the terrorists here. <laughs> Which cotton there? Where are they going? Which cotton, you know? How high that goes. Oi, oi. Oi, oi, sabaloi. Oi, oi. <laughs> just, just found you randomly in the shisha bar. How do we know each other? 30 seconds. Well, I'll do it in 10 seconds. We met through stages, indoor cycles. SJ is an awesome instructor. I basically sell the fitness equipment. And SJ basically went around Asia helping train a whole load of instructors. Then we went to Germany together, Singapore, Malaysia. She went to Brunei and stuff. So, yeah. That's how we know each other. The owner of Sages. <laughs> you don't have a camera. Oh, okay. Didn't steal a camel, and then Nav didn't put a camel in every place possible. Um, that sounded a bit rude, didn't it? Yeah. But um, that was the first time we met. And that was not camel toe, an uh, actual camel. <laughs> yeah, not, <laughs> camel. <laughs> not camel toe. Nav is amazing. People are awesome. Flight connections. It's cheap. Um, cost of living. Muslim country, easy easy to get halal food and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's awesome. It's everywhere, it's a bit so it's And it's cheap, she's is cheap as well. So I'm here with Kuala Lumpur's Pablo Escobar. <laughs> Carnavid Khan, originally from Slough. Yeah, so that's what I was going to ask you about. So originally from Slough and you made it to Kuala Lumpur, like how did that journey happen? And yeah, yeah, just talk a little bit about that really. In, in short, it happened with stages. Um, so when I joined Stages, we were only selling in three different countries, so UK, US, and I think Germany or Spain. Uh, so Paddy, we've mentioned him a few times, so like he was like, just go make it happen, okay. go get some sales and see where you can, which markets you can penetrate, and the Asian market was basically untouched. Okay. So I thought, okay, let's just come out here for a few months and just see what's out here. So they pretty much trusted you to just come yeah, out here yeah. and do your thing? Just do my thing, and then before you know it, like we ended up winning some good accounts and stuff, yeah. and we've been here ever since. And I can see why they sent you. You definitely have the gift of the bat, the gift of the gab. You've got that, that slow, cheeky, chappy vibe about you. I do, I like it. It's the, like kind, it. it's the, you, kind, of, it's the kind of person I like, to be honest. You do seem like a character. Thank you, thank you. The way you interact with everyone here, is quite quite amazing for me who's someone who's socially awkward but even talking to the taxi drivers and you have that banter awesome yeah how, I appreciate how, how, how do you I, how I do you know. do that i want to learn this i don't know i just really do yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't know like you, you, you do it in I such just, a, a friendly way where you're kind of you're teasing and you're joking if i did that i would just come across as rude i don't know i think uh, i've always loved people okay. and i love connecting with people so uh, just understanding the vibe in the moment and just okay. yeah you just don't think about it, it just happens naturally so yeah thanks for that, that you do it really well though like i like it it's uh yeah you, you're a very warm person and, I, and i'm really grateful for how you looked after sarah while she was in my pleasure in asia and yeah she always she's like an older home. sister she's phenomenal yeah, like cool, uh, yeah. really really enjoy her company and spend your time with her. But yeah, still, two days ago when you yeah. go, yeah, you know what, when we were in Jannan Alor, yeah, yeah. you go, thanks for taking care of Sarah. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the credit, but I don't know who I was, was like, who's Sarah? About. I was like, I didn't care. I was like, oh, Sarah, SJ, yeah. Uh, okay. So I had to like, if I'm looking for a bike, where do I come? Neil. <laughs> <laughs> Stages in Bill Cycle. <laughs> I'm going to do a walk in the corner. <laughs> I'm going to do a walk in the corner. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. I was up there watching in the restaurant. Of course you were. Yeah. <laughs> but it was epic. Like it was epic. Well, the whole match. How much sound? Oh, yeah, yeah,
Yeah. Tim, you're a legend Malik. as well. Nice one, mate. Thank Not you. Yeah, see you soon. Zane, Zane. Zane, Zane Malik. <laughs> when, when he was a kid, he showed us pictures yesterday when he was a kid. Honestly, it's, it's one direction. <laughs>